Hey, what's up guys? VM here coming at you with a brand new video. And if you're looking at this, then you've either listened to my new album um, sessions or you have you know, an interest in what, what the project's about before you listen to it. I'm going to give you guys a breakdown basically of every track in less than a minute. So let's go. A prison, a prison can hold me. My flow's free. No chains can hold me. Bitch, watch closely. Number one, Risen. Basically, this is like a power ballad, me being confident. You're going to see a lot of that in this project. And, you know, just me coming back with a brand new project. I really wanted to show people this is what I am. This is what I'm bringing to the table and just... You know what I mean? I seem to be the odd one out. Living life for left is right and right is left. But Am I crazy? It's basically like you're lost in your own mind. You don't know what's happening. You see things around you, but you don't feel like it's really fitting your situation. That's at least how I feel. It's like a fish out of water kind of story. You know what I mean? Yeah, so the first half is kind of dark and grim. And the second half, if you listen to lyrics, it's more bright, more colorful, more wanting to get out. Feeling like I'll be going to H E double hockey sticks as I'm constantly on the fucking cruise. Now, Voyage, if you guys have seen the music video, that was great. And I just pretty much just wanted to spit some shit. And I thought it was dope and I thought I should put it on the project. Living like idol, idol, trying to be idol, idol, killed idol, like idol, idol, living idol, like idol. Now, Idols, a lot of people have been telling me that I they really liked Idols. And for me, it was basically just referencing all of the artists that, like, I've grown up listening to or that I listen to that a lot. And, like, you know, I'll put on screen all of the artists that I've referenced and with the lyrics corresponding to them. And, yeah. Trying to be. Trying to be. Trying to be. Trying to be. So I'm also doing this fun fact thing where like I kind of take a bit more time out to say something fun about the project. But basically, fun fact about this one right here, you can actually hear three voices at the end. Of course, predominantly hear Pac, but you can also hear Ice Cube and you can hear Biggie. Now it can be a bit clear to hear Ice Cube, but Biggie's a bit more in the background. But yeah, those three are on there. Knock knock, I'm fucking here. Bitch, you know we the mob. Fucking with us, we'll show you what we got. All right, the mob. Now, one of my favorite tracks. Um, this one I wanted to pretend to be like a mafioso. You know what I mean? Al Capone. You know we're really going out here. You know, I just thought it was like a henchman calling his like main man, saying, "Yo, we gotta do this," and I'm like coming in, being the main boss. You know what I mean? And um. Yeah, I love it. It's confident. Once again, I really wanted to show what I can do, what I can bring to the table. And I tried a little bit something different with my voice. These bars running round, yeah, you know you lost. Better pray to God. If not, I'll give you one to believe. Now, fun fact about this track is that actually, if you listen closely in the chorus, you can hear two tones on the chorus. We're going to play that. Bitch, you know we the mom. Fucking with us, we'll show you what we got. These bars running round, yeah, you know you lost. Better pray to God, if not, I'll give you one to believe in. Who bring the trouble? Very moody. So, Frozen, basically, it's kind of like Risen in terms of I wanted to bring some new shit. I wanted to be clever. I wanted to just bring in some creativity and shit. Really get in my comfort zone and just show what I got. You know what I mean? Yo, it's victory at all costs. Doesn't matter what you lost. You have to go down in legend or in memory. Now, victory at all costs. Another one which I actually heard from a lot of people. They liked it. Now, to be honest with y'all, like, victory at all costs is about me doing whatever it takes not to be normal, but to be someone unique, someone different, and staying true to myself no matter how much it costs me. You wanna go for more? You wanna be ordinary? Shit, no more ain't for me. And you was victory at all. This was actually the title track for a scrapped project I had called Victory at All Costs. And the thing is, all I, I got disillusioned with it. I didn't like the idea too much anymore and I kind of fell out of love with it. But I knew that this track is like a banger. I knew that I need to have it. So from there, I constructed this one again. But this could technically be seen as the first one I've recorded, which I actually recorded last year in the summer. So, yeah. Hip hop for mental health? Well, just listen. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I hate that my life is mired and issues I can't fully explain to those I love and admire. But we have a mental illness is so normalized, I'm no longer surprised when I hear a loved one can't stand life. And I hate that I can't do anything because we feel like the center of the universe. But it's so blue like Pluto, not in the system, and it feels fucking brutal. 
But maybe there's hope. I see Omni, Anthony, and Brooke and more show support to help move things forward. I'm gonna lead the push because to tell the truth, I'm fighting tooth and nail with my own problems feeling frail. But I don't want more like me so I can't fail. I'll raise the green flag. I want this to be changed, not a damn fat. So I raise up my right hand and I say, hip hop for mental health. But seriously though, like seriously support the cause and you know, I really want to get this somewhere. I'm working really hard on this and you guys will eventually see what I have to bring. You guys will definitely see that, I assure you. Fine, we out here getting high, living life and we're doing it right. Now, doing it right, it kind of gets into a transition of the last four tracks being more lighthearted, a bit more, you know, relaxed in a way. And doing it right pretty much just, pretty much is just saying that, you know, everything's going to be all right, that the way I'm being can eventually lead to something great, but I'm still trying to figure out who I am myself, you know what I mean? It was a Tuesday, what can I say? Long time, no see, two years ago we might Late Night with the only feature on the on the album officially. Um, It's basically about that one magical night in every relationship you have where you know that girl is special, that boy, depending on who you are, and you know it's 2020, even though Corona's got our shit locked down, you know what I mean? But yeah, pretty much this track is just, you know, about love and just about those special nights. And Two Tones comes in with a great, great track there. Shout out to Two Tones once again. Feeling so dead lonely. So dead lonely. Now the final track of the album, Rap Diablo. And I chose Rap Diablo because I love Mac Miller. Now I wasn't a fan before he passed away. I unfortunately came to his music too late. But he has greatly influenced my sound. You can hear it in some of those vocal dumb, dumb, layers, layers that you, that hear, you hear, on hear on it but i wanted it to be a, a tribute to mac miller because he was a great influence for this project and for many more in the future so that pretty much covered all of the um all of the tracks on the project now a few announcements before i go number one is that if we can get every single track on youtube to 50 um to 50 views and five likes on every single track. I will release a deluxe edition where we have three more tracks on there. Um, just in case. I don't know what y'all really want to see. And um, next week, I'm releasing a music video for Am I Crazy? I'm going to give a short little preview here. Just so y'all can see that. And I really hope y'all enjoy that. But I refuse not to stand up, my third eye gleams I still have color in my dreams I intend not to fold and go on Show I can leave so we can move on I feel we're being controlled Paranoid because I don't fit the mold But I wasn't happy when I did it when I was six years old I'm gaining back my life and my quote unquote soul I never sold it and if you guys really, really enjoyed this video, please smash like. Make sure to share around not only the project, but this video. Because I really want the project to really run up. I want to see shit go crazy. And, you know, let me know down in the comments below what you think of the project. What's your favorite track? Um, what you're looking forward to in the future from me? And if y'all are ready for the music video. And if we drop 10 likes on this, I might release it a few days earlier. And I might come in with y'all with a bonus music video. You just don't know. Anyways, once again, drop a like, subscribe, comment what y'all think, and share this around, and I've been very moody. See ya.